All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about five EDC items that I can't live without. And it is going to get down to the truth with this one. And I think that a lot of people should be more honest when they do these videos, but, you know, to each their own. And so hopefully this video makes some sense and hopefully you guys uh, like the perspective from this video. So anyways, guys, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Instagram, the Patreon. The support, as always, is pretty much, is always appreciated. Okay, guys, let's talk about some EDC essentials. Okay. So the first one for me, and the one, like I said, a lot of people, they don't talk about it. Maybe it's like a stigmatization of, you know, phones and technology as a whole. But for me, the first one, as far as everyday carry goes, which does differ from wilderness lifestyle and stuff, uh, and like my wilderness carry, has to be my phone. And of course, the phone is super, super important because one, it allows you to stay in contact and connection with people and potentially work, employers, you know, it allows you to stay in touch in contact with those that you need to and as a tool this is really one of the most versatile multi-tools it can be a flashlight if you have you know certain uh, payment methods set up this can act as like a credit card or a debit card um, your phone can act as so many different things and you know there's always pros and cons to being super connected and it does make you more vulnerable for you know certain types of attacks or you know maybe spying you know a lot of people say this is like a wiretap and they're not 100% incorrect about those statements but at the same time too no one can argue the value and utility of a phone so for me the number one essential that I can't live without or things that I you know won't leave home without phone is definitely very high on that list because of how connected I need to be and you know once again the sheer thing that if you need to buy something even if I don't have something like my wallet on me this has, you know, cards in it that I can use to purchase or I have cards or the ability to purchase things with this phone. I have the ability to contact people to get things uh, that I need. So you can get food with your phone, you can get groceries with your phone, you can get gas with your phone. You can, you know, get essentials for daily life. And once again, you can stay connected. So undoubtedly, the number one is the phone. And once again, a lot of people don't like to talk about it or mention it or throw it in there, but it is very important. Okay, so the next one for me, and it's probably because I'm a knife guy, is the knife. Now, from a perspective of just a knife as a whole, I do like to carry higher end knives. Something like this Hinder XM18 is not uncommon to be found on me, or, you know, other uh, Chris Reeve knives, Striders, uh, ZTs, and other, you know, nice knives. I do like having them in my collection, but from a use standpoint, the reason why I like a knife is it is a general well-rounded tool. I can use this in different survival situations if I need to, to prep firewood, and that'll kind of tie into the third essential for me. And it also can be used for defense. A lot of things like firearms are really good and very valuable, and we'll talk about those in a little bit. But from the grounds of utility, a knife can be used defensively. It can also be it can also be used in you know survival or general use applications. This is something that I use a lot practically to open packages, containers, stuff like that, but it can be used for fire prep if I need to, especially being in Alaska, that is a valuable consideration. And once again, it can also be used defensively. Now, is it the best defensive tool? Absolutely not, and some knives are better than others, but by and large, the amount of things you can do with a knife, go ranging from food prep and, you know, just ranging from food prep to little things, little daily tasks, to self-defense and survival, it is all there. So the third one for me, an EDC essential that a lot of people probably don't think about is a source of fire. Now for me, I tend to carry a little Zippo and I realize a lot of people leave comments about this, that Zippo is, you know, not the best tool. You guys probably can't even see the flame. So I realized the lighter isn't the most perfect survival, you know, fire starting method, but it is easy to carry, easy to use, and I just make sure that I stay that it stays topped off. Keep a little ranger band over the opening to help retain um, lighter fluid. I don't use this thing to smoke, but I do use it and carry it for if I need to start fires. And oftentimes too, uh, another application is I work with paracord a lot to just make little things. Um, and I often find myself using this for, you know, and uh, kind of fusing or 
for paracord as well. So it is pretty useful from an everyday standpoint in that regard, but I like it primarily because it ties into the survival aspect. You know, if you have something like a knife, you can prep wood. And uh, you know, this knife is obviously nothing in comparison to something like my CRK Pacific or an SC6, but at the same time, you're not gonna carry around an SC6 everywhere you go. It's just not practical. So having a knife that does kind of lend its hand to wilderness use is a handy attribute. Okay, so the next one up on the list is going to be the firearm. Now the firearm is still very valuable to me for self-protection, just because once again, we did talk about how the knife can be pushed into self-defense. And once again, you know, that is true. However, having a well set up firearm, something like this, you know, Red Dot equipped uh, Glock 19 is very valuable and very important and obviously gives you a way better competitive edge in self-defense than having something like a knife. Even just having a standard firearm with uh, normal iron sights is better than having a knife. So having something that's well equipped, well set up for self-defense is even better, but a firearm in general, something like this Glock 19, uh, this is what I personally carry, but that is also uh, an EDC essential that I try not to leave home without. Uh, you know, once again, it's not something that I would never leave home without, but it's still very important and something that I don't like leaving home without. Okay, next one and last one on the list is going to be a flashlight. And I think flashlights are very applicable. And once again, something that a lot of people overlook, a lot of people get bogged down with, you know, like little knickknacks and stuff, but flashlights are super important. And the reason why this is so low on my list is because half the year in Alaska, especially, it really doesn't get dark, at least outside. So having a flashlight isn't always super critical, especially, like I said, if it's in the middle of the summer, we never lose light here. So it's not like you need to have a flashlight, but it is very important the other half of the year because we don't really get a lot of light at all during our winter season. So, you know, half the year, you don't need it at all. The other half of the year, it is very applicable and you will probably need it, maybe not on a daily basis, but pretty regularly. So I definitely make sure I have a flashlight and my, this one in particular is the Phoenix LD30, still one of my favorites. It will probably be replaced by another Phoenix EDC flashlight soon, but for now that is on the list. But for now, that is the last one on the list, and it is number five. So, like I said, it's number five because it's not the most necessary. And once again, there are things like the phone that can act as a flashlight in a pinch. So it's not like I necessarily absolutely can't live without this. But having a flashlight is definitely important. And of course, the brightness and output of this is very high, much higher than the phone flashlight. And of course you can make it do strobes and all kinds of tactical stuff if the need be. So definitely there are other things out there, you know, like multi-tools, uh, pens, watches, and other stuff that I carry that I find very valuable for sure. But these are the five essentials for me that I do not leave home without, or if I do, it's very rare. And these are the things that are most important to me. And once again, I think a lot of these are things, like a lot of people talk about knives, but uh, a lot of people don't talk about firearms and EDC in the EDC community. But at the same time too, I try to be realistic with my EDC. Like this is the stuff that is essential to me that I'm not gonna leave home without. Um, and things that are very valuable as a whole. So that is kind of my background or my thought process on it. As always guys, God bless and I'm out.